Hello viewers, this presentation explains application of simple linear regression analysis with the help of two variable linear regression model. Here we estimate a linear consumption function where we assume that the consumption expenditure is a function of income. Suppose in a survey weekly family consumption expenditure y and weekly family income x of a village are observed as the values of y are these and the values of x is, is these. Estimate the consumption function of the family y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus u where beta naught is intercept parameter or it represents autonomous consumption and beta 1 is the slope parameter and it represents marginal propensity to consume and u represents random variable. Next find r square. Next test the significance of the parameters at 5% level of significance and next interpret the results. Solution. The calculation table these are the values of y and this is the values of x. Summation of yi is 1, 1, 1, 0 and summation of xi is 1, 7, double, 0. Next we multiply yi with xi and we get the summation yi xi is equal to 2, 0, 8, 1, 5, 0. Next we calculate x i square and we get summation x i square is equal to 3 to 5 4 double 0 and we calculate y i square and we get summation y i square is equal to 1 3 4 triple 0. Now y bar is equal to summation y i by n and x bar is equal to summation x i by n and n is the number of observations. So we get the y bar is equal to 110 and x bar is equal to 170 that is mean of y is 111 and mean of x is 170 estimation of beta naught cap and beta 1 cap the OLS estimator of beta 1 cap is equal to n into summation y i x i minus summation y i into summation xi divided by n into summation xi square minus summation xi whole square. Putting all the aggregates found in the calculation table, in this formula we get beta 1 cap is equal to 0 0.534. Therefore, beta naught cap is equal to y bar minus beta 1 cap x bar that is equal to 111 minus 0 0.534 into 170 and we get the value of beta naught cap is equal to 20.22. Thus, the estimated consumption function is y cap is equal to 20 into 22 plus 0 0.534 x. Estimation of variances. Summation small x i square is equal to summation capital x i minus summation capital x i whole square divided by n and we get the value of summation small x i square is 3 6 4 double 0 summation y i square is equal to summation capital y i square minus summation capital y i whole square by n and we get the value is 10790. Summation e i square is equal to summation small y i square minus beta 1 cap whole square into summation small x i square and the value is 410.32. Here Summation e i square is the residual sum of squares. 
summation small y i square is to tell sum of squares and beta 1 cap into summation small x i square is explain sum of squares. Therefore, variance of error term u is sigma square of u is equal to summation e i square divided by n minus 2 and we get the value of sigma square u equal to 51.29. Therefore, the variance of error term u is 51.29. Now, the variance of beta 1 cap is equal to sigma square of u that is variance of u divided by summation small x i square and the value is 0 0.0014. Therefore, standard error of beta 1 cap is the square root of variance of beta 1 cap and the value is 0 0.037. Variance of beta naught cap is equal to variance of u into summation capital X i square divided by n into summation small x i square and the value is found 45.85. Therefore, standard error of beta naught cap is the square root of variance of beta naught cap and the value is found 6.77. Now, R square that is the coefficient of determination is equal to beta 1 cap square into summation small x i square divided by summation y i square or that is equal to 1 minus summation e i square divided by summation small y i square and the value of r square is found 0 0.962. Therefore, 96.2 percent of the variations are explained by the variable x. 96.2 percent of variation states a higher level of goodness of fit. Hypothesis testing. Since sample size is small, that is n is equal to 10, which is less than 30, we apply t test. Suppose the null hypothesis beta 1 is equal to 0, and alternatively, beta 1 is not equal to 0. The calculated T value of beta 1 cap or T star beta 1 cap is equal to beta 1 cap divided by standard error of beta 1 cap and the value is found 14.43 but table value of T at 5 percent level of significance with 8 degree of freedom is 2.32. Since the value of 14.43 lies outside the acceptance region, the hypothesis of no relation between y and x is rejected. Therefore, we accept the alternative hypothesis. Thus, beta 1 cap is statistically significant. Similarly, null hypothesis of beta naught is equal to 0 and alternatively beta naught is not equal to 0. Here the t value of beta naught cap is equal to beta naught cap divided by standard error of beta naught cap is found 2.99 but table value of t is 2.31. Since the T value of beta naught cap is greater than the table value of T at 5 percent level of significance. We reject the null hypothesis and we accept that beta naught coefficient is also statistically significant. Interpretation of the results or reporting the results. We get the estimated linear consumption function is y cap is equal to 20 into 22 plus 0 
0.534x where r square value is 0.962 and standard error are 6.77 and 0.037 the value of r square of 0.962 shows that about 96.2 percent of the variations in the consumption expenditure is explained by income the estimated coefficients beta not cap and beta 1 cap are statistically significant at 5 percent level of significant in general consumption expenditure of a family depends on the level of income of the family the estimated consumption equation shows that the autonomous consumption is rupees 20.22 which indicates the average consumption expenditure of the family at zero level of income the coefficient of the variable x that is the value of beta 1 cap equal to 0.534 which measures the slope of the consumption expenditure line it shows that an increase in the level of income by rupees 100 the estimated consumption expenditure of the family will increase in average by rupees 53.4 it measures the marginal propensity to consume or mpc equal to 0.534 thus this is an example of application of simple linear regression analysis this is also an example of estimation of consumption function for two variable cases. Thank you.